Hi, and welcome back to our channel today. Today we're going to discuss the benefits of butyrate and short-chain fatty acids for your gut health. We'll talk about the relationship between tributyrin and gut healing, as well as how it supports your gut. And finally, are there any implications or potential side effects of taking tributyrin? But before we dig into that topic today, my name is Marcy Vasky and I'm a licensed nutritionist with Fluso Nutrients. And at Fluso Nutrients, we work hard to educate you on a variety of different supplements so you're more able to make a choice for yourself. Now, we always recommend talking to a um, supplement literate practitioner if you have questions if you should be taking something or not. But hopefully by watching some of our videos, you can make an educated and knowledgeable choice for what is right for you. So let's dig back into our topic today and talk about tributyrin for gut health. Now, because I'm a gut health nutritionist, I love to talk about new supplements and anything related to the gut. And tributyrin is one that is gaining more and more popularity for those suffering with gut issues. Tributyrin is a type of short chain fatty acid that helps to support our microbiome. And by having a healthier microbiome, you're gonna have a better immune system, better mental health, and of course, better digestion. So first, let's understand what is the microbiome. Now, if you've watched our channels before, you're probably fully aware of what a microbiome is. But for those of you who are new, a microbiome is just the environment in our intestinal tract that contains all of our good and healthy and maybe some opportunistic flora. But that microbiome is diverse and needs to be diverse. And sometimes if it's not, or if it has more, if it has pathogens, or as I said, too many opportunistic flora, sometimes that microbiome is not as healthy as we need. And this is where tributyrin comes in. So at the heart of any gut health, we need to be talking about short-chain fatty acids, and in particular, a short-chain fatty acid called butyrate. Butyrate is a, a type of short-chain fatty acid that has, keeps your, the microbiome healthy and the integrity of your intestinal tract strong. Butyrate also helps to prevent inflammation, and it helps to promote that um, healthy flora that we need, helping to promote good gut, gut bacteria. And with all of these things that butyrate does for us, bring down inflammation, support our microbiome, increase the integrity of our gut lining, we need butyrate and sometimes we're having a hard time making it. So I've been saying try butyrate and butyrate. You might think, well, what is the difference here and why does she keep talking about two different things? But really I'm not. Try butyrate is just a unique form of butyrate. And it is actually most able to be absorbed and metabolized and used um, to help support those functions I talked about earlier. So tributyrate is sometimes going to be best for people who are struggling with gut health issues. Now, in one such gut health issue, such as irritable bowel syndrome, tributyrate has been shown in research to support motility. So if you're struggling with IBS and maybe you have more constipation and you just need to get things going, tributyrate might be a great way to start that process. Uh, I also talked about how tributyrate reduces inflammation, and of course, if we have irritable bowel, we're gonna have some sort of inflammation on some level. And of course, bloating is part of IBS, which if you have it, you know all too well, and even abdominal cramping. So by using butyrate, it can control that motility or help to support motility, which makes all of those other symptoms much better. Now for individuals who are struggling with IBD or inflammatory bowel disease, 
Tributyrin can also be really helpful in the way that it reduces inflammation. We know with both of these diseases, it's highly inflammatory situation going on. So using tributyrate to bring down inflammation is gonna be really helpful. Another gut health issue that is um, very inflammatory is gastritis and ulcers. So again, tributyrin can help to reduce that inflammation and help to bring better uh, flora balance to that area, as well as GERD. So the another acid reflux uh, situation where tributyrin has found to be very helpful as well. Now, if you're struggling with one of the conditions I talked about, IBS, IBD, gastritis, or ulcers, as well as GERD, tributyrin might be something you want to start adding into your daily supplement routine. And with most supplements, you always want to start on the low end and work up. With tributyrin especially, you want to begin slowly. If you take too much, you might actually have more GI issues. So you can experience maybe some more mild bloating, maybe some extra gas, abdominal cramping, even diarrhea does occur. So I would just recommend starting at a lower dose and then doing that for a week, maybe two weeks, and then starting to increase up to the regular dose. Now, that way your body gets used to it, you know how your body's gonna respond to it, and you can fit it in much easier. And as with all supplements and medications, there are specific people that probably shouldn't be taking any tributyrin, and that would be someone with severe liver disease or kidney disease. And if you ever have questions about if it's right for you, talk to a healthcare provider, someone who's literate in supplements to help you make a better choice. Now, if you're thinking, okay, well, I think I can, I wanna try this, and what do I get? The best thing to do is look for a um, supplement that is third-party tested, that um, has really good ingredients in it, as well as the tributyrate, maybe coupled with another short-chain fatty acid, just to enhance the absorption of it all. Um, not totally necessary, and again, if you have questions, talk to a healthcare provider or someone who knows about supplements. Also, the starting dose is about 300 milligrams, working up to 1,000 milligrams. So that's a pretty big, um, value in between there. So like I said, just start really slow and build up to whatever your tolerance is. So that is tributyrin and it's great. It's a wonderful, unique opportunity to get butyrate into your intestinal tract more effectively um, for people who are struggling with gut health issues. But if you're someone who's thinking, well, how do I just make more butyrate on my own? And that would be from consuming more fiber foods. So you'll, what happens is our fiber breaks down into our short chain fatty acids and that makes butyrate as one of them. So just consuming more fruits, uh, vegetables, um, nuts, seeds, all the things that contain some nice fiber is going to help support that short chain fatty acid production. So if you have a good gut and you're just like, I just like to want to make sure that I'm doing the best for myself, just make sure you're adding in those kinds of foods on a daily basis. So just to wrap up our topic today, tributyrin is gonna be great for our gut healing overall and our overall well-being. And so by bringing down inflammation, supporting the integrity of our intestinal tract, supporting the healing of our tissues, um, that is gonna bring you a lot more joy when your gut feels better. So thanks for watching us today and we'll see you next time.